So you think about moving to Franklin, Tennessee, and you're curious about what are the best neighborhoods? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you the top five neighborhoods here in Franklin. I'm Brandon Johns, a real estate agent here in Nashville. My partner, Sam, myself, and the team help families from all across the country find their home here in Middle Tennessee. And we simply make these videos to help answer all your questions about Nashville and the surrounding areas. So if you're looking to move here within the next three months, you can give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, or you can even click the link in the description titled Moving to Franklin, we'd be happy to help you make the move here. So as I mentioned, today's video, we're going to be covering the top five neighborhoods here in Franklin, Tennessee. And we're gonna jump on Google Maps, show you the location and proximity to different areas, but also take a look inside the neighborhood, see the home styles, what the prices are, and what you can get inside of each neighborhood. But first, if you haven't seen any of our other Franklin videos, we have a map tour, a pros and cons video, and also a vlog tour. And those will all be linked in the description, but you can also check out the Franklin playlist on our channel. Now, before I start with the first neighborhood, these aren't in any particular order, but number one is West Haven. Now, first I wanna point out that West Haven is a master plan community, meaning you have so many amenities within the neighborhood itself, like a grocery store, doctor's offices, but I'll touch on those in just a second. Now, first, let's just check out West Haven here on the map. So as you can see, this is West Haven. You're south of Nashville, right here in Franklin. And West Haven is right off of Highway 96, Murfreesboro Road, that goes right through the heart of downtown Franklin and all the way to Murfreesboro. So what's great is you're 10 minutes to downtown Franklin, 15 minutes to Cool Springs. And the downtown Franklin and Cool Springs area is where you're gonna do majority of your shopping. All the big box shopping is going to be in Cool Springs. And there'll be a separate video on our channel that goes over all the different amenities inside of Cool Springs, but that's Franklin's business district. So you're about 10 to 15 minutes away from your main shopping. But like I said, this is a master plan community. So let's just zoom in on here. And as you can see, there's Kroger. This is the grocery store. You also have your restaurants. You have got a coffee shop, Oscar's Taco Shop, Scout's Pub. Then you also have doctor's offices, financial offices, animal hospital. So you have everything right down the road if you lived right here in West Haven. And if you have younger children, there's a Williamson County Elementary School also inside of West Haven, which is great. So you get kids can bike, or you can drive them on your golf cart down and drop them at school, or they can even walk. Now exclusively for West Haven residents, you have resort style swimming pools, playgrounds, you've got a fitness center, an art center, you've got a theater inside the residence club, you also have tennis courts, walking trails, sidewalks throughout the neighborhood, and there's also the West Haven Golf Course. Now, like I touched on earlier, you're gonna find a lot of golf carts inside of West Haven. It's almost like a golf cart community, um, just because you have all the essentials right down the road. So there's a lot of families that live in the neighborhood that have golf carts and they drive those around to the grocery store, or drop their kids off at school, or go down to the lake to fish, or whatever it may be, depending on the day. So if you're looking for a community with so many things to do, but also community events, then the West Haven neighborhood might be great for you. But now let's talk about home prices and what's available here in West Haven. Now, as far as home prices go, the active homes on the market range from $775,000 all the way up to $3.7 million. You have condos, townhomes, single family homes here that range from 2,000 square feet all the way up to 7,500 square feet. But also I wanna point out that the lots are very tight here. Some of the largest lots are up to 0.3 acres. The median list price is just under $1.4 million and the median days on market is 34. So this is the lowest price home and this actually just went under contract. So this is that 775, three bed, two and a half baths, 2,300 square feet. And as you can see, um, this was built in 2007. And this is just kind of a, a quick little look at some of the finishes and what this is here. Um, but I do want to point out that you're on a 2,580 square foot lot and the home is 2,300 square feet. So that just goes to show you the lot size here. And this is the highest priced home currently active inside of West Haven right now. So for 3.682, you've got six beds, six full baths, three half baths, and 7,561 square feet. And this one is on a larger lot here, see 10,000 square feet. Um, but you've got a 7,500 square foot home, so still very tight lots. Now, what's great about the West Haven community is you are paying for it inside of the HOA, but they take care of all the grounds and maintenance around the neighborhood, which makes, you know, it just gives a really aesthetic look throughout the entire neighborhood, so that's a big plus. But as you can see, these are what the finishes kind of look like in this brand new construction home, 2023. 
Um, so really a, a really beautiful home here. And this is, like I said, the highest priced home here inside of West Haven. So the options range quite a bit. There's gonna be a total of around 3,500 homes um, inside of West Haven when the plan is completely finished. So it's gonna be a massive development and they're continuing to build new construction. So if you're interested in new construction, there are options. They're not all $3.7 million. Definitely just reach out to us, we'd be happy to help you. Now before we move on to the next neighborhood, I wanna point out that we send out a monthly market report uh, specifically to West Haven, but then also specifically to the other neighborhoods we talk about. So if you want to know the West Haven market report every month, just reach out to us. We'd be happy to send that over to you and we'll just send over the most recent one whenever you reach out to us. Now next is Fieldstone Farms and Fieldstone Farms is one of the most well-known neighborhoods inside of Franklin. You have over 2000 homes in the entire community. And as we zoom in here, as you can see, this is West Haven right here. Um, but Fieldstone Farms, you're a little bit north of Franklin and if we zoom in here, Fieldstone Farms kind of goes up in here, but also up in here as well. And like I said, there's over 2,000 homes in this neighborhood. You've got a swim and tennis club, which is great, but you're also just in prime location. So you're about 25 to 30 minutes to downtown Nashville, you know, about 10 minutes to Cool Springs and 10 minutes to downtown Franklin. Now this isn't a master plan development like West Haven, so you don't have all the essentials inside your community. But as you will notice, you do have a Publix right here. Let me zoom in. You've got Publix, so your grocery store is right there. So you can get to your grocery store almost immediately, but also, like I said, your 10 minutes to all the other shopping and other things that you would need inside of Franklin. You have a wide range of homes here inside of Fieldstone Farms. They range from about 1,000 square feet all the way up to 5,000 square feet. And some of the first homes were built in the early 90s and the current days on market inside of Fieldstone Farms is 20 days. Home prices also range quite a bit. In the last few months, we've seen homes go for as low as $410,000, and that was a townhome. But for single family homes, they typically go for just under $500,000. That's the lowest price you'll see for single families. And those are typically about three bed, two baths, and 1,500 square feet. There are actually only two homes currently active on the market and five are under contract. So that should give you a sense of demand and what turnover is like here inside of Fieldstone Farms. For price ceiling, we're seeing homes sell for just under a million dollars. And actually one of the active homes is is going for $949,000. So let me pull that up for you here. So here it is for $949,000. You've got a four bed, three bath, 3,200 square foot home. As you can see, all brick. This one was built in 1999 and you even have a pool in the backyard, which is great. You don't really see that very often on the market right now here in Middle Tennessee. So I'm assuming this will go under contract here soon. It looks like it's in great condition. It's probably renovated. Um, as you can see, it's updated. So that's what you're gonna get here. This was one of the two homes that's currently active on the market here inside of Fieldstone Farms. Okay, now we're gonna go southeast of Fieldstone Farms to the next neighborhood, which is Forest Crossing. So as we zoom in here, as you can see, you are you know still very close to downtown Franklin. But what's great about Forest Crossing is you're right next to I-65 here. So you can get downtown as little as 20 to 25 minutes. Um, but also downtown Franklin, Cool Springs, you know, 10 minutes as well. So Forest Crossing was actually on the golf course right here. This is one of the few Middle Tennessee neighborhoods that's on a golf course. And this used to be called Forest Crossing. It was recently purchased. Um, so now it's Franklin Bridge. But as you can see with the drone footage, there's a lot of homes that are, you know, right next to this golf course. You even have homes that have some waterfront views of the Harpeth River here, as you can see it runs on the side of this golf course. You have community amenities like the tennis courts and community pool, but you also have the golf course. It is public access, so um, not some crazy massive membership fee to be a part of it, so that's what's great as well. If you love to golf, you can just walk right down the street or ride your golf cart down to the golf course. Now, the majority of the homes that were built here were built in the 90s, but there's still some homes that were built in 2012 coming out of the recession. But overall, if you like, you know, a more mature neighborhood, so you got mature trees and lots of greenery, then this might be a great neighborhood for you. And the homes in here range from about 1,800 square feet to 3,500 square feet. And the prices are around mid 400s to high 700s here inside of Forest Crossing. These homes typically move very fast if they're priced right inside of Forest Crossing. There's actually only one active um, on the market right now, and then there's two under contract. This is that current active listing for $675,000. As you can see, four beds, five baths, just under 3,000 square feet. And as you'll also notice, it's under a quarter acre lot here. 
Um, and so as you can see, this is kind of like the typical style that you'll find inside of Forest Crossings, although it does range quite a bit. But as you can see, this is what the interior of this home looks like. Um, and what you'll find here in this active listing here in Forest Crossing. But now let's move on to the next neighborhood, which is McKay's Mill, which is directly east of downtown Franklin. As you can see here on the map, you are really, it looks farther away from downtown Franklin than it really is. You just have to get on the Murfreesboro Road and you're in downtown Franklin in around 10 to 12 minutes. But you're right off of Liberty Pike and you can go right into Crothers, which goes all up and down Cool Springs in this business district area. So if you're working in Cool Springs, most likely there's a lot more office buildings on this side of I-65, so you might just be on this side. So very quick commute to work, but also you can get to I-65 you know, 18, 20 minutes to downtown Nashville. Um, and what's great about McKay's Mill is you've got a lot of amenities, but you also have a Publix grocery store right inside here, McKay's Mill. You also have Animal Hospital, uh, there's a daycare, and there's a few other restaurants there. But like I said, you're still so close to all of Cool Springs that Cool Springs has to offer. This is probably the closest of all the neighborhoods we've talked about so far that in terms of the Cool Springs amenities, Whole Foods right here, you've got Liberty Park right here, this golf course, there's also ball fields there. This is where the Publix is. But there's some great amenities here inside of McKay's Mill. You have an Olympic sized swimming pool, 5,000 square foot clubhouse, fitness center. You've got walking trails everywhere throughout, bike paths. And you also have that town center, which I talked about has your Publix, restaurants, shops. Uh, your dentist and things like that right there inside of McKay's Mill. Now single family homes here range from three to four bedrooms to at least two baths and you're around 2,500 square feet is a typical home. So you have condos available here inside of McKay's Mill that are around that $400,000 mark, but then your single family homes can go upwards of 900,000 to a million dollars. Now you have five currently active listings here in McKay's Mill. The lowest is $799,000, and then the highest is $989,000. So this is the lowest price single family active listing here in McKay's Mill. As you can see, built in 2000, 3,400 square feet, four bed, three baths, a quarter acre lot. So you got bigger lot sizes here. Uh, and as you can see, this is kind of what this home looks like, the interior. So uh, like I said, built in 2000, so not not really updated as you can tell and so this is for that 799 and then here's the 989 the highest active listing single family inside of McKay's Mill you've got built in 2005 4100 square feet so 4200 square feet almost four beds four baths and as you can see here this is kind of what it looks like inside you got a nice island here and you also have nice open layout out here this flows right into your living room, which is nice. So that's what you're gonna get in McKay's Mill. So, you know, $200,000 difference, but as you can see, more square footage, and oh, this is a nice little entertainment room as well. And then you also have a nice back porch area and yard, so, oh, and then here's a shot, another shot at that swimming pool, like I was talking about. So, that's McKay's Mill. Now, the last neighborhood we're gonna talk about is Ladd Park. And as you can see, you're on the side east of I-65 with McKay's Mill, but you're just south of McKay's Mill. So here's Murfreesboro Road, McKay's Mill is right up in here, and then Ladd Park is right here. So if we zoom in, this is the Ladd Park area. As you can see, you've got the Harpeth River, which is nice, but what's great about Ladd Park is you got a ton of greenery, walking trails, um, so they did a great job on that. Building in Ladd Park started in the early 2000s, and there's nearly 1,500 homes currently in Ladd Park. And what's great is there was a variety of different builders inside the Ladd Park community. So not all the homes look the same. So there's lots of variety and it really to fit any style of home that you would be looking for. So that's what's great about Ladd Park. But then also you have homes, like I said, early 2000s, but then still new construction available as well. And these custom homes are ranged from anywhere from 1,500 square feet to 5,000 square feet typically. And with that, Ladd Park also has some great amenities. There's 240 acres preserved as common areas and community parks, which means two miles frontage on the Harpeth River, 10 miles of walking trails, 
community park, like I said, and also two community pools. There are currently nine homes active on the market inside of Ladd Park, the lowest being 725,000 and the highest being $1.239 million. And this is the lowest price home. And as you can see, this is ranch style built in 2015. There's a variety of different styles available, which is so great about Ladd Park. And as you can see, these are what the finishes look like inside. So as you can see, it's 2015 build. You got an island here, you got a bar, and this is just over 2,000 square feet. So not a very large home, three bed, two bath, but you know, it is a ranch style home. And then you have the highest price home here, which is just a few days on the market. This is built in 2020. So five bed, five bath, 4,200 square feet, $1.2 million. And as you can see, all brick, open layout, it's a nice, clean, white look that so many people are looking for nowadays. Then you also have this extended island that works as an informal dining area, which is a nice touch. So as you can see, this is what you're gonna get. Also, it's on 0.36 acres, so a larger lot. And this is the highest price home here inside of Lad Park. So as you can see, so many different styles here inside of Lad Park, but also great amenities if you love walking trails, sidewalks, greenery. Um, there's endless opportunities here inside of Lad Park. But like I said earlier, we send out a monthly market report for each of these neighborhoods. So if you're interested in a specific neighborhood here, reach out to us, we'll send you that monthly market update. But also if you want all of them, we'll send them all to you too. So just let us know, we'd be happy to send those over to you. These were five of the top Franklin neighborhoods here, but there's still so many different neighborhoods that fit different lifestyles. So depending on what you're looking for, your neighborhood that fits you best may not even be in these top five. So reach out to us, we'd be happy to point you in the right direction of what you might need when you're moving here to the Franklin area. Now lastly, I'm Brandon Johns with the Coleman Johns Group, a real estate agent here in Nashville, and we simply make these videos to help answer all your questions about Nashville and the surrounding areas before you make the move here. So if you're looking to move here within the next three months, reach out to us, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, or click the link in the description that says moving to Franklin so we can meet you and be your real estate resource here to help you make this move as smooth as possible. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.